Hey travelers, my phone got stolen in Pavilion and this happened just 45 minutes ago. So let me tell you the story of what happened. I uh, went to the Surau, that's the prayer room, uh, on the fifth floor and uh, I was praying. I put my phone and I put my bag next to me uh, where they have like the prayer rugs. And uh, when praying, I was almost finished. I saw some guy come in from like the periphery of my eyes. And the guy came in, he had a very green shirt. So like the green uh, was really, uh, I'm just looking. If there's nobody uh, following me, maybe he was in a gang, you never know. But um, the guy had a green shirt. So that green shirt, you can see it from far away. It was like really green, light green. And um, he came in and he left and I was just thinking okay maybe this guy took my phone or took something else but I didn't took it seriously because yeah like it can always happen people come they go they take their uh, voodoo their this, like their ritual wa washing and then they will come back but he went inside and he went away and uh, I stood up I just look and I was like I don't see my phone and I thought that I put my phone uh, not in my bag but just next to it so i didn't see my phone and when i didn't see my phone i was like shit maybe he really took it so i looked in my bag nothing i looked in my wallets nothing so i was like this guy he took my phone so i ran outside as quickly as i can i looked to the left i looked to the right and i saw that same shirt green shirt like i didn't see his face i only saw the green shirt i went to him i confronted him and i said to him hey I want you took something from me and like the one of the first things this guy did is that he uh give me his phone no, no that's my phone like i don't have uh, your phone so that's the first mistake he said he doesn't have my phone why well, i didn't say specifically that he took my phone but he showed me his back and the phone wasn't there like his front pockets were empty in his back he didn't have my phone so um he was like okay i don't have it. and i was like yeah, I don't see it, you're right, but I don't trust you. Because the guy was like, he was trying to get away. He was not like, oh, okay, I will wait. No, he was like, I need to go, let me go. Um, and then I knew, okay, that's second clue. He wants to get away very quickly. So I was, no, brother, Abang, you're not gonna go anywhere. So I said to him, you're gonna wait here. And I started screaming for security. Um, and in the meanwhile, the guy, like we were wrestling with the guy, like he's trying to get away. He's like trying to give me his shirt, his bag. Um, he took his wallet from his bag, uh, but I thought the wallet was still inside, but he took his wallet, he took his phone, and he tried to get away, and eventually when we were wrestling, um, I saw that my phone was in his back pocket. So I said, hey, there's my phone, and I hold him, I put my, uh, my hand in his back pocket, I took my phone, I said, he's my phone, you're not gonna go anywhere. I screamed for police, I screamed for security, nobody came, um, but uh, Alhamdulillah, I got my stuff, so then I was more willing to let him go, but because I thought I had portemonnaie, like I had his wallet. Um, so I let him go, um, but people were like, no, you need to go after him, like he need to get caught. So we followed him, some with other guys, uh, went all the way down. Um, eventually uh, I said, you know what, it's not worth it. I would just let him go. But then people said, no, you really need to go after him. So then I went back up and he was just gonna exit from the main entrance. And I said to the security guy, hey, that guy is a thief, you need to stop him. And he tried to stop him, but be uh, between them, there was like this barrier. So he wasn't able to go after him. Uh, he went after him, but sadly the guy uh, got away. Um, but we got his bag with some stuff, with some money, with the camera. Um, so, and good, all good. Uh, it was a thrilling experience. Uh, it's like, it's safe. Malaysia is safe, certainly. But there are people like that, so you always need to take care of your stuff. Um, I actually liked the experience to be able to wrestle with somebody. They just because it ended well, yeah, and I didn't get hurt. He didn't take anything, uh, and the people there were uh, helpful. Um, after after we got in contact, like the police, um, so it was a it was a uh, exciting opportunity. Like when you travel, uh, these are the things that you can. Uh, 
that you can get accustomed to, not get accustomed to, but things that you, uh, like, because I speak many languages, sometimes they all are a mess in my head, um, is opportunities that you can experience. Um, Malaysia is a nice place, Malaysia is a safe place. Uh, certainly, come, enjoy the country, but keep always an eye on your stuff, even if you're in the prayer room or other place where you think you're safe, because criminals, they go anywhere. It doesn't mean they're religious, it doesn't mean they are this or that, but they know where people are trustworthy and when people trust other people more, they're more likely to take things from them. So that was it. <laughs>